Hello to everybody watching and welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry and in this video I'm taking a look at the second set of seven songs competing in Dora, the national selection for Croatia. So in my first video I looked at the first seven songs and now I'll be looking at songs 8 to 14 and giving you my opinions on them all and at the end of this video I'll be letting you know who my overall favourite of the selection is so please stay tuned for that and if you like this video please do click the like button and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell if you haven't already uh, but without further ado let's begin the reaction. Next up we are moving on to song number 8 and that comes from Bernarda with Ear Here For Love. Now I do remember that Bernarda was in the national selection last year uh, with Colours. Um, so let's take a listen to see how she is sounding this year. And now we are going to press pr and we are going to press play now. So we're getting a similar vibe to last year. There's a bit of a gospel-y undertones there at the start. So the first is very nice, but I waited to see what the chorus does. Open it as a bit of impact. Wasn't expecting it to go in this direction. It's sort of a bit of a dancey vibe. And I have to listen to it again a second time to see what I think of that. At least it gave us something a little bit different and mixed it up, which is good. I think a lot of this, however, it does will depend on the live performance. Um, obviously, I know that Bernarda is blind, so she won't be able to do, presumably, sort of the dancing or choreography. Uh, oh, it's unlikely that she will be doing it, so she'll need to obviously have backing dancers there to be able to give that sort of dance vibe. There was good vocals there, that was impressive. So the ninth song taking part in Dora is from Eric and it's called I Found You. So let's take a listen and press play now. Again, a bit of a tropical vibe, maybe. Admit it, you don't even know my name. Cause I can see you don't remember. And a bit of a guitar, you know, by the beach vibe. You find a way to make them better. Cause I found you in the middle of the night. It's a strong start, so I'm open for a fun chorus to come in. Just a bit of a more laid back chorus than I was expecting or open. I was hoping for something to, for it to really bring the fun. Which is kind of bringing now a little bit. But it is kind of a bit of a cool, breezy, laid back, summery sound. Rather than a sort of full on, catchy summer sound. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. Potentially my favourite of the nine songs I've heard so far. I think this is another song which will be dependent on its live performance and the staging. I think they need to deliver the fun vibe of the song in the stadium. We are now moving on to song 10 or 14. This comes from Toma 
with In the Darkness. Now I do recognise the name, I think he was in part of Dora last year as well. Um, so interesting to see what the song this year sounds like. And press play now. If I'm suffocating Interesting to start with the focal effects going on there. Maybe we're sort of continuing the focal effects here into the verses. Nice vocals there. Nice vocal gymnastics. But wait and see whether the song comes alive or not. Yeah, so the chorus was nice, but it's kind of just a bit flat. It didn't really power through very much. But there are some nice instrumental parts in this song and vocally he's got a very pl strong pleasant voice yeah i think this song is just petering out a little bit for me it, there's nothing about it that is really wowing me um it is a, it's got a nice voice and it is a nice song but it isn't really standing out enough Song number 11 is coming from Ellie's Loverich and the song is called No War. So let's take a listen and press play now. Okay, so we're getting a interesting start. Where are we going? Look at the guitar coming through now. I got eyes on you, I see blood Falling tears heavy from the sky I see kids, yeah, Very running my dark vibe Where's it going? It needs to start to go somewhere. Sounds like we're getting Croatian now, which is nice to see. A mix of the languages. It started off quite dark, but now it's gone into a bit of a more anthemic sound which doesn't quite match with the dark vibe of the start. Yeah, this has went out of steam a little bit for me. We've got some swearing there. Yeah, the dark vibes that we've got here at the start and here are quite nice, but the chorus in the middle it just didn't work for me and it sounds a bit out of place compared to the start and the end of the song. But Next up is song number 12 and this comes from Ella and the song is If You Walk Away. So let's listen and press play now. Just you and I, so where are you going? A nice start. Sounds like we're going to get into a bit of a maybe a disco y, dancey vibe at some point. But the vocals are solid as well. The chorus was okay there, but maybe a little bit dated and. Yeah, it didn't really kick in as much as I would have liked it to, but. This part here, I like in the verses quite a lot. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm feeling the chorus is letting us down a little bit. Hopefully in a live performance you can elevate it. But the chorus is just sounding a little bit too standard and basic for me compared to where I would like it to be. And we've stuck a key change in here which didn't sound the most nicest of key change. And I'm actually sounding her phone calls at points. Hearing the chorus is a little bit harsh. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of losing my... The song's losing me a little bit now, at the end, so... Okay, we have reached song 13, the penultimate song. This comes from Tia, and the song is Fole Me Do Neighbor. So, let's take a listen and press play now. <laughs> She's got a nice deep voice there, which I'm liking. I like this sort of the dark mystic vibes in the instrumentation. Waiting for it to kick in properly. Okay, so this has got quite a bit of a modernish vibe going on. Yeah, again, I feel like we've got a song that's falling into the trap of being a rather radio friendly album um, filler type song. It's nice and enjoyable, but I'm sitting here left wondering what has the song got that's going to make it stand out amongst all the other Eurovision songs and quite a lot of the songs here in this selection are lacking something to make them stand out we have now reached the final of the 14 songs taking part in Dora this is Mia Dimsik with Guilty Pleasure so we're going to take a listen and I'll go in to press play now Dreamt of you last night, woke up, you weren't there So we're getting a guitar Five nights song in a, a bit of an indie vibe You come without a warning Early in the morning Timing's never been our thing Leaving me with guilty Only I like this bit here that, that bit that sort of goes up I'm with him and you're a secret treasure Would you run away? Nice song. Very pleasant. She's got a nice vocal. And I like the instrumentation. But again, like I said for a lot, this doesn't sound the most competitive for Eurovision. Which I think, yeah, a lot of the songs are suffering from. But this is one of the better ones in the selection. Yeah, pleasant song this is. Like I say, it's nice to listen to and the sway, but it's missing a moment to make it really stand out amongst the crowd. Okay, so I've now reacted to all 14 songs from Dora 2022, the Croatian National Selection for Eurovision. On the whole, I don't think it's the strongest set of songs. There's no terrible songs there, but there's a lot of middle of the road, safe songs there, which although nice to listen to, don't really stick out a lot. Um, in this section, I just listened to the seven songs. I think they were a little bit stronger than the first seven songs, possibly. Um, my favourite of these songs was Eric with I Found You and that's probably my favourite overall as well. It just add, was the one that added to something that stood out the most to me. Whether it will do well at Eurovision or not, I'm not too sure, but it's my favourite of the selection. I also liked Ear for Love by Bernarda. i would be interested to see the live performance of that. And also, 
uh, that was pretty much it really um so yeah it, overall it was a decent selection but there was a lot of songs there that just didn't really stand out enough for me to sort of put them amongst my favorites so not a terrible selection but not the best either i'm uh, hoping that croatia can pick a good song for eurovision um and that the live performances can elevate these songs um yeah so that's just what i think so please let me know down in the comments below what your favorite from dora 2022 is and who you're hoping to see represent croatia in eurovision in may and yeah, if you like this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And until the next video, take care and goodbye.